coming back to Japan for the competition here in Tokyo, where I'm originally from, is really special for me. Sometimes it's hard for me to adjust.、Um, when I come back to Japan, it's going to be a total, totally different country. The culture difference and everything. That means people, even you see the same thing, but people feel the different way. And I just have to get used to it immediately. But、um, sometimes more I spend time in the United States because figure skating in Japan is not as popular like in the United States. So sometimes I find that it's hard for me to deal with.、Uh, it's a little thing, but、um, it's, it's hard. Yuka first learned to skate from her parents, Kamiko and Nobuo. Until she moved to the United States, she spent many hours on the ice under the watchful gaze of mom and dad, both former champions in Japan. I don't work every single day with them anymore. But parents are really always, as everyone knows, that、um, ev- all the parents are tough <laughs> and、um, sometimes hard to deal with because they want to know why. Um, I did this, why I do that. People who's not really seen the process every day, what's going on with my life or with how I'm skating, a lot of things around, around, with the, around me with the busy schedule and everything. But people just take a result. And if you don't skate well, you always wonder. You know, there's no excuses. So, my parents, since I don't work with them consistently, they always look for the result,、um, look at me and what's going on. Why, why did you miss this? Why are you like this right now? And sometimes I can't answer. It's really hard for me to tell my parents that. Why I'm making mistakes or why I'm skating well. It's really hard. And by virtue of the draw, Yuka Sato will be the first on the ice for the short program, no matter how many times she makes this round trip from New York to Tokyo and back. She says she fights jet lag and she's fighting it today. She had three hours of sleep last night. So here is a tired but beautiful Yuka Sato, the music, The Merry Widow. When you watch her skate, you notice the flow that she has across the ice. The quality in her edge is outstanding, but she wants the jumps. Here, the triple loop. What a start. No jet lag there, and a beautiful double toe loop following it up. Yokohama here in Japan. She lives with her mom and dad, both former skaters. Her dad serves as her coach here, her mom, her choreographer. In the States, she's been under the、uh, tutelage of Leanne Miller, a new choreographer, and Leanne's done a wonderful job、She、for her. She really has brought out a wonderful style in Yuka. And Yuka really skates from the heart. When you watch her skate, you just start smiling because she really looks like she's enjoying herself. And that's the key to success in this sport. You gotta love what you do. Triple sow cow. No problem tucking that one away. Yuka came off a fifth place finish in Lillehammer. 
nice double axle and came home to the world championships a month later in Chiba, Japan, which is uh, midway between Tokyo and the Narita Airport. She won her first world title then. 5-4 in the Ordinals over Surya Bonnelly of France. And they are competing against each other today. And she just skated a beautiful performance in this short program. Yuka Sato with a smile, all the required elements there, a very lyrical style as she just floats through the music. This is where it all started for Yuka. The triple loop, beautiful rotation. Look at the arm position, watch the landing. She's perfectly positioned to go right up into this double toe loop. Phenomenal. And the first set of marks now required elements for Yuka Sato. Five six and all five sevens. And the second set. From five seven to five eight. These are all very solid marks. A good start for her, but remember she had to skate first. That's not the most desirable place to start in any competition. Katarina Witt will skate second. She's on the ice when we come back.